Good morning, all my beautiful friends. This is Sandy, the Sunroom Stitcher, coming to you from the gentle folds of my lilac thicket. It is Monday. It is the 25th. Yep. 25th of October. Wow. <laughs> and it's 1130 in the morning. We're getting close to noon. I got up late this morning. I woke up at 10 which is really late, but it's overcast, it's cool. Um, we had some rain that came through yesterday morning. Ah, pardon me. I started the video over because I, I um, my sister's mother-in-law passed away last Thursday from Alzheimer's. And I was started a video and was talking about that and just I don't know. <sighs> anyway so autumn is here some of the trees are all yellow and my backyard neighbor has a yard full of leaves we don't and I understand you know that the different trees have different colored leaves in the autumn. Our maple is it's crazy because it seems like last year it was fully red by this time. So it's crazy. We just have a, not very many leaves on the tree that are red, but there are red leaves there. But their yard's filled with leaves our yard isn't we've got a willow we have um a f formosa tree we've got our lilac trees our red bud dogwood all of those they've still got all their leaves <laughs> they may have lost a, you know just a few or a handful but not much so anyways it's crazy but I do have a uh, some chicken thighs in a big pot I'm gonna make some chicken noodle soup homemade chicken noodle soup I thought that sounded good but it's this past two weeks has been um, pretty good for the most part and um, I've been doing some autumn autumn cleaning uh, crap in the corners Ugh. My husband is so bad for putting stuff in corners. I moved out um, a chair, uh, a recliner chair, and there was like piles of stuff he'd stashed back there, a little hidey hole full of crap. And, I, and I, he seems to think if there's a wall, it, the wall should have things all over it, from tchotchkes to whatever, and it drives me nuts. But we cleaned it. I got the dining room table, not the dining. I'm working on getting the dining room table cleaned off. It tends to get. I unload the groceries from because we. I get Walmart delivery. Put everything on the dining room table, and it's sort of. I'll open it up and look through it and put things in the fridge and things I'm not sure where to put sort of sit and then it piles up right now I've got a bunch of cookbooks on there but I've got a place I need to clean off for those but anyway I've been doing all kinds of stuff all kinds of stuff reorganizing the pantry downstairs and and I winterized the the um, air conditioner um, yeah it's just been a plethora of little tiny this is and that. So anyways, I have done quite a bit of stitching. Well, not like some people because I'm a slow stitcher, but I do have a finish and I have a fully finish and I have a start. So let's get to it. 
And the first thing that I'm going to show you is my fully finish. And I did this accidentally. I didn't mean to finish it, but it just sort of happened yesterday. And I don't know if you remember Spooky or not. That um, that was the free design from uh, Celia Turner, Heart in Hand. And um, yeah, there's the back of it. I just used a homespun a homespun gingham and stitched it together, stuffed it, and then I made some made a hanger out of some pearl cotton, some DMC pearl cotton in black. Um, I'm not overly jazzed with this finish, but I'm going to give this to my mom for her birthday because she thought the jack-o'-lantern was really cute, and it is really cute. But I didn't really have a trim for it, so I just sort of fringed the homespun to make like a a roughly kind of primitive decorative edge and uh, it'll 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 be okay it did have long danglies here and I cut them off because it just looked yucky so anyway but that is um, spooky um, and I actually started this one on October 10th and then I finished it on October 14th and let's see here and then yesterday which was the 24th I fully finished it and it did take me a couple of hours but that's okay I didn't have to spend any money on anything because I had everything I needed to fully finish it and um, it was a freebie so everything was from my own stash and I am trying to save money so that is my spooky and it's gonna be mommy spooky I've got some cozy mysteries for her also that I'll she loves to read mysteries um then my finish Oh, the link for Spooky, the freebie, is down in the notes if you're interested in going and getting that free that free chart. And I did finish Cupid. Now this was a work in progress, and I had found this when I was down there pawing through some cross stitch stuff. And I only I only had like about the head, the shoulder, and the upper part of the arm done. And it's pink on pink. And it is so, I thought it was cute. So I brought it upstairs and I fully finished it. And I, I restarted this on October 15th and I fully, and I finished it, finished stitching it on October 17th. So the fabric color is Crescent Colors Spun Sugar 28 Count Even Weave. And Crescent Colors, of course, is now um, Classic Color Works. Um, but when Sharon Crescent first started uh, her uh, Crescent Colors, she was dyeing fabric. And... I loved I loved her fabric colors. The floss is the Gast Tea Rose, and I love that pink. Just slight variations in the color. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to finish this. I thought it would be really cute as like an o in an oval frame, but I like him. I think he's cute. I'm glad he's done. And let's see here if there was anything. Oh, I finished I finished stitching it during the Chiefs versus the Washington football game. Um, the Chiefs won that, but they lost to the Titans yesterday. Um, oh, yes. And my best friend Leslie went to Aberdeen while I was working on it. So... 
and I've got notes. I've got this composition notebook. It's my stitching journal. And what I like to do, I took, and I'm losing everything. <laughs> In my stitching journal. This is, I took a picture of where I started and then the finish. And I even put a little snippet of the fabric for color, the tag from the fabric. And I put when I started it, when I finished it, um, the fabric and the floss that I used, the designer. Um, and then I'll write little things that happen while while I was working on it. It could be things in my life, it could be um, national things or world things or whatever. So, yeah. Oh, and I have these. Well, let's see if I can find one. These little calendars. And I got this, this, um, it's from, um, well, I can't remember the name of the place. They have free forms and stuff like that. And I got this idea from Carrie, Kitty Stitcher, and I just sort of black out. If I work on, on something that day, I'll black it out on the, on the calendar so I can see what days that I worked on it and that's what I did with I've started doing that that's a that's a recent recent thing but I thought it was a really cool idea so this will take us to hopefully what I'm currently working on Which is, it's this kit that I purchased for, that I told you about in the last video. I'm working on Coco Snowman. It's a kit. They're stitched on perforated plastic. There's six different snowmen. There's six different ornaments. And I'm working on this one right here. And the story is that I had seen this pattern in the stitchery catalog and they wanted like $26 for it, plus six or seven dollars shipping and handling, and I wasn't going to spend that. So I did a Google search and I found it on Amazon. I'm an Amazon Prime member. They had it for $21, and I thought, I'll get $21. i will do it for $21, because I won't have the shipping and handling. I get free shipping. Well, then I looked, and I saw that I had uh, rewards uh, dollars. I had $19 in rewards. Well, hi there, Stinkwad. Yeah. That's Allie, and the Deep Wolf is our German Shepherd, um... This is Noah, who's our Yorkie, and then we have Allie, who's a German Shepherd. So I got this for $2.50, and I just was so excited about it. And I just think he's cute, cute, cute. And this is where he is. He's getting really close to being done. I've had a lot of fun working on him. Now... I did make a substitution on this because this is the silver for the blade of the skate and it's very very thin and you're only supposed to use two strands stitch your crosses two strands and this wouldn't cover a sneeze so I would dug through my um my stash and I found a petite treasure braid in silver and I'm um, two strands and I did the skates in that and I really really like how it is and you definitely can't see 
how it sparkles or how metallic it looks but it does it looks really good then I purchased some felt I originally had got uh, this felt this color and it looked online a lot lighter than it did because I'm actually going to use this as the backing for the ornaments um, and I didn't like it so then I ordered on Amazon and I paid $14 but pastels pastel felt squares and I really like the aqua the aqua colors and so that's what I'm going to use to back them I have one that's a little darker also and I might use that one too and do three of them in the darker and three in the lighter but these are going to be gifts for my mom um, I'll definitely have at least one done by her birthday so with the books and the spooky and this and the ornament will be a birthday present um, and I'll just give them to her I, who knows I may have all six of them done by Christmas but I don't think so, so Um, that's the stitching, and I'm, I've just been really enjoying it. On Wednesday, or on Saturday when I stitched with Leslie, uh, via Skype, that's what I was working on. And, so, let's see, what else do I have written down here? Um... My future plans. Well, I've decided. Well, at this moment in time, I've decided that I may I may be working on winter blues, just Nan winter blues that I've started in January of this year. Um, since it's getting colder, I thought, oh well, that might be fun. So, those plans can change. Um. The freebies that I wanted to talk to you about are, oh, you can get the spooky design, and that link is below. Then there is Jardin Prive, which means, I believe in French, um, private garden, I believe. But I really like their designs, and she has a page full of free designs and that link is below but the one I wanted to point out is there is a temperature project and you if you watch floss tube um, you may have seen some people working on a temperature garden by stitching mommy which was uh, flowers well there's there's um, Jardin Prive had a had a temperature project in 2020 um, they had little salt box homes that were um, that represented the temperature the little icon and that was cute really cute and for 2021 she had floss bobbins you know the little you know what, what I'm talking about and so you could use those for any year it wouldn't have to be for the past for the years that they were created for um, I'm looking forward to seeing if she has a different one this year I, w I would like to do something like that and I've my problem is what color to use and I agonize over it. I agonize over that stuff and um, so but she, like I said she has other things that are there she has sheep 
um, shape freebies. I, they're just really cute freebie designs. So the link to that freebie page is down below with the temperature projects. And um, some of this stuff is in Italian, but you may be able on your browser to change it to English. So, and the other thing is that we're on day 25 of the uh, Pine Mountain, um, Pine Mountain Halloween Stitch Along. And I talked about that in my last video. If, um, she's got little, little icon or little tiny designs for each day of the month. It, it's sort of like in a calendar type of format, but really cute. Um, and the link to that freebie is down below also. So, um, that would be the, that would be the freebies that I want to talk about today. Love freebies. And I'm going to, I'm going to pause this for just a moment because I want to get something else I've forgotten. Shame on me. So I'm back. And you didn't even hardly know I was gone. <laughs> One of the other freebies I forgot I, that I want to share with you is Ink Circles. Ink Circles also has some free designs. And um, they have one that is for um, breast cancer that has pink ribbons on it. And you could make those ribbons any color you wanted to. It wouldn't necessarily have to be pink. But <clears throat> um, the link is down below for the, free, uh, the freebie page on Ink Circles. And uh, just a few things that I've been doing. I've been watching old movies. I love old movies. Um, and I watched um, one with Cary Grant and... Oh, heck. <laughs> what is her name? I don't think I wrote it down either. Which sort of tanks me off. Oh, thank God. Well, I don't know. Well, we'll just move on. But I've been wanting to watch the Thin Men's Man series, but they don't have it free on um, Amazon Prime. I haven't looked on YouTube, and and they and it they may. I did watch. Sharon, and this is not the one that I was talking about, but I watched Charade, Charade with Cary Grant and Audrey Hepburn from 1963, and it, I enjoyed it, but I got, I, I would get lost. And maybe because I wasn't paying, I was stitching while I was doing it. But it's sort of, um, it was good, but it wasn't the best movie I've ever seen. And I also watched uh, Sherlock, oh, and let me get, when I was mentioning that I was watching the old movies, because I love the old movies, because I watched um, My Man Godfrey with um, Carol Lombard and William Paul. Powell and um, I love that movie and Amy she's a friend who watches my YouTube channel or my floss tube channel and she's friends we're friends on Facebook and hi Amy she said she and her husband love to watch Charlie Chan movies well, I think I've been in love with Charlie Chan movies since I was like five years old. My mom is a big mystery fan. And she likes more like the 
the the uh, cozy kind of mysteries, not the bloody ones or the true crime ones. I'm a true crime. I love true crime. Um, but she used to read us Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew, um, Winnie the Pooh. Mom used to read to us every night before we went to bed. And um, so I was a reader growing up. But I loved Charlie Chan movies. And she said that there was like 41 Charlie Chan movies that she knew of. And so that sort of sparked my interest again in Charlie Chan. But there was a thread on Facebook on the Turner Movie Classics page about what is your favorite, your, what's your favorite mystery movie. And <laughs> it was a huge, long thread, and I saved it. But I also went through it, and I wrote down the names of all of the movies that were mentioned up to that point. And I thought, I'm going to look for each of those movies, and I'm going to watch them if I can find them. And I watched a Agatha Christie from 1945 called and then there were none it's also called uh, it's based on the book ten little indians and that was a good mystery i really liked that one i sure did and i watched um, sherlock holmes and the woman in green from 1945 that was okay it was just okay um, Basil Rathbone was Sherlock Holmes in it, and it was okay. So, I also watched the Kennel murder case with William Powell from 1933, and I really liked that one. So, those are some of the things that I've been doing, watching the old mysteries, but I also wanted to mention that I really uh, can't wait because the new the new season of Curse of Oak Island is starting and it's on the History Channel I believe but I purchase I purchase each uh, each season so they're up to season 9 and season nine's about to start, and I can't wait. I think this is going to be the most exciting season yet. And yes, there is treasure on Oak Island. So uh, it's uh, fascinating. The experts that they have on to look at the artifacts that they find, and they're doing chemical, they did chemical analysis of the water in some of the boreholes and they actually um, have the silver chemicals or, or what I don't know so there's they, they said that there's silver down there there's silver and so it's really exciting um, they had three episodes that they've already um, aired for season nine, but it was like uh, the top ten, top ten artifacts uh, they found, then the top ten artifacts that they found that they did not tell us about, because they just, I guess, don't have time to tell us about everything that they find, and then the top ten moments, but yeah, it's getting exciting. And um, also another show that I'm watching is called Ghosts. And it's on CBS on Thursdays. I believe it's 7 p.m. Um, but it is a takeoff of the British comedy, which is what I was looking for was the British comedy called Ghosts. It's about a young couple that inherits an old house, a big old house, and it's inhabited by ghosts. And it is a comedy, but it's a really novel concept, 
and um, I'm sure that the British one is a lot better than the American one, although I am enjoying the American one. It's sort of, it's makes me smile. I haven't laughed out loud yet, but it does make me smile. So I'm wondering, you know, is anybody else watching that, and what do they think of it? Um, so what else did I want to talk about? Well, I think I talked about my chicken because I can smell my chicken from my chicken soup. <laughs> yeah, I smell it. It smells good. Uh, I love homemade chicken soup. Um, and just cleaning the crap corners. Going to continue to clean the crap corners here in the house. And that's about it for me. Um, but I'm going to leave you with a quote from Matthew 7.7. 7. Ask for it and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open for you. And yeah. I found God, I, I sought God, and I found God, and I asked God to come into my life, and he did come into my life, and that's actually sort of backwards, it says, seek and you will find, knock on the door, because I knocked on God's door, and he was, he just opened the door for me, and he's just flooded me with all of these wonderful blessings and thoughts and stuff. I watched a really good YouTube video about the Dead Sea and I watched, um, I like watching Israel, My Israel, I believe is the channel and I actually do support him on Patreon because he, um, uses technology to create like what Jerusalem looked like when Jesus was there and I find it fascinating and what to me is amazing is there is a large segment of the population that want to say the Bible isn't history it's just fairy tales and the more they find, the more it shows that the Bible is history, that these people live, these things happened. It's true. It's all true. Open your mind. Open your heart. Ah, oh, my. Anyways. So, with that, we've got 38 minutes. <laughs> I love all of you. Share with me what you're stitching on down in the comments. Share with me if you want, like Curse of Oak Island or Ghosts. Um, share that with me. Um, share with me what you're making for dinner. <laughs> Just share with me. I love to read your comments. So... I'm hoping um, that you'll be blessed for the next two weeks and beyond, but you guys have a good, safe Halloween, and watch the leaves fall, and be cozy in your house, clean the crap corners, make chicken soup, <laughs> and I love you all. I love you all so much. God bless.